The Grand Canyon is under snow. That may surprise our non-American viewers, but you should know that this isn't an unusual sight. The Grand Canyon has a microclimate of its own, one that will test our driver's reflexes and skills. It's a tight race so far. Anyone could jump into the lead. That's impressive driving, ladies and gentlemen. As we switch from asphalt to dirt, it'll be interesting to see if it changes things up, or are our drivers so skilled they won't even notice the difference? How about we make some legends? Get a load of that scenery. This race course is magnificent. I have no idea how the competitors keep their focus in such a spectacular setting. This is some exceptional racing, folks. Live, the best camera system on the market, is proud to bring you event four of this season's Extreme Series. Live, track, record, share. Let's put our racers to the test along the Colorado River. difficult portion of the race. There's a lot of tight curves, rocks narrow the passage, and it's a long way down with no guardrails. And that's even before we take into consideration the loss of grit created by the snow. 
It calls for careful technical driving. This bridge indicates we're coming up on the finish line. Racers, if you want to make a move, it's now or never. From the Grand Canyon, thanks to all of you for watching the live extreme series test the skills of the world's best racers. Keep on following us on social media and watch out. Race number five is going to be a doozy. Welcome to beautiful Biscayne Bay and today's live extreme event, Miami Surf and Turf. From the water to the beaches to the heart of the city, we're serving up a racing combo platter of everything that makes Miami great. Brought to you by Live. We make the cameras, you make the action. In this event, we wanted a sizzling, mouth-watering land and sea odyssey that would leave our viewers hungry for more. And since Miami is practically synonymous with speedboats and sports cars, it was the only oven hot enough to handle this racing recipe. So bon appetit, race fans. It's time to get cooking.
No surprises at who's just taken the lead. Will the sun ever set on this competitor? for a high-speed blow-dry. We may have left a few things on the beach. Hope our drivers don't let those slow them down. Here in Miami, the local wildlife includes alligators who make their homes in those waterways. Dog owners, if you move to Miami, be sure to keep your pets on a short leash. These are the Venetian Islands, a group of artificial islands constructed in the bay and connected by a bridge originally built in part by racing pioneer Carl G. Fisher. If only he could see what we're doing now. are on the final stretch to the finish line in downtown Miami. And with those hypercars capable of speeds up to 450 kilometers per hour, that's 280 miles per hour, folks, they'll be there before you know it. finish to the live extreme series Miami Surf and Turf. Be sure to follow us on social media. Until our next exciting unprecedented live extreme event, have a cold one, slip on your shades, and enjoy your time in beautiful Miami. I know I will.